when I stitch the binding, I don't use pins. I just turn the binding up so it covers the stitching. And I put my needle in and come out like this. And then I pop the, the, the knot through. And I just do, I believe it's a, a whip stitch. Whoops, sorry about that. I do a whip stitch and I just go in the backing and come out a little bit. It's a very small stitch and it's not invisible. I, I think it's a whip stitch, but I don't think that my sewing on the binding will win any awards at any quilt shows, but that's okay because it holds very well. And my biggest problem is knotting in the end. I need to find a better way to knot the threads. But anyway, you can see how I'm just whip stitching. And normally I use a thimble, but I don't have one right now. And so I just, when I get here, I just turn it up, make sure the stitching is covered, and just keep stitching. It's almost like a little applique stitch. And there's a little knot. Just do about an inch at a time. And basically you're appliquing it down. When I reach the end of the thread and I need to make a knot, I just go in the backing fabric and take a little, a few threads from the top and pull it and leave a little loop and then I just go through that loop and tighten it and then I do another one. Here's the loop. And then I bury the thread between the batting and the backing and just come up like that and pull it. and then just cut the threads. Now I'll show you how to do the corner. Now here I am at the corner and I've reached the seam allowance here that's going in the other direction. And I'm going to put an extra little stitch right there Then we're going to turn it. Let me just put my needle in there for now. We're going to turn it like this. And you'll see that we have almost a 45 degree angle there. And we're going to just fold this up and try to cover all of the stitching. The line of stitching that's going this way. Sorry. And then right where these two corners meet, I'm going to stitch those two together. I keep moving this camera. And then I'm going to stitch down this miter. Now I'm at the corner, I'm going to put the needle in to take the last stitch and I'm going to come out in this top corner up here, right there, you see the needle came out and not too far away 
then pull it. Now you have your miter is stitched in there. And then just continue stitching in this direction with the little whip stitch or applique stitch. And that's how I do my bindings.